Hello friends, this video straight line part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight line part 1 to part 6. We have to prove that that is a line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. I will draw the line. This is the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. There is a line which is parallel to this line. And it will passes through x1, y1. It passes through this point x1, comma, y1. Now we have to prove that this is first L1 and this is L2. We have to prove that this is the equation of line L2. Ax minus x1 plus b y minus y1 is equal to 0. Now since both the lines are parallel, first let's find the slope of line L2. Slope of line L2 will be equal to slope of line L1 because both are parallel. Now let's find the slope of line L2. L1 first. So this is Ax plus By plus C is equal to 0. You can rewrite this equation as By is equal to minus Ax minus C. Or we can say Y is equal to minus A by Bx minus C by B. What I have done, I have divided this equation by b, both left hand side and right hand side. So if you compare this equation with y is equal to mx plus c, then we can say that for this equation, m is equal to minus a by b. That is what we are looking for. We have got the value of m. m is equal to minus a by b. Now if we have the value of m is equal to minus a by b, that is slope of line L1. Since L1 is parallel to L2, we can say that M1 is equal to M2. Both the lines are parallel, so the slopes are equal. Therefore, slope of line L2, that is M2, is also equal to minus A by B. Now, for the line L2, we have slope and we have two points. So, we can just formulate this equation. The equation is Y minus Y0. Is equal to m into x minus x. This is the equation of line L2. For line L2, this is the equation. Or we can say y minus y1 is equal to m is nothing but minus a by b into x minus x1. Correct? Now this is nothing but b into y minus y1 plus a into x minus sorry x minus x1 is equal to 0 and that is what we were asked to prove. So we have proved that a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 is equal to 0. Very simple in, in all the cases when you get questions on lines you first draw the diagram. Here we drew ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 this is line L1. Then we drew one more line parallel to line this because we were told that we have to find the equation of this line which is parallel to line this. So we drew one more line which is parallel to line L1 and we know that this is the point x1 y1 that is passing through the line L2. Then we solve this equation. Once you solve, once you draw the diagram of the line, you get a clear picture of what you are expected to do and how to approach. So the first thing when you get any problem in lines, the first thing you should do is that you should draw the graph, not the exact graph that is not required. You should not draw the full coordinates and keep what, jotting the points. You can just draw a rough graph and then you can approach the problem. So the first step is draw the graph and then understand the problem. Here also we drew the graph and we got a clear understanding of the problem and then we solved the problem. Let's take my example, it's a little tricky. So it says that vertices of angle triangle PQR are 2 comma 1, minus 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 5. We have to find the equation of median through vertex R. First let's draw the triangle. This is our triangle PQR, P, Q and R. So it says P is equal to 2 comma 1, Q is equal to I'll say minus 2 comma 3 and R is equal to 4 comma now we are told that we have to find the equation of median through vertex R. So from R we are going to draw median. So that means we will draw a line from R 
So let's suppose this is S and here these two sides are equal. That is QS is equal to PS. So this is median. Now we'll have to draw this line which connects R and S. This is the line which connects R and S. So we have to find the equation of line SR. Line SR. This is line L. Let me repeat, this is the triangle PQR, the vertices are given and you have to find the equation of median through vertex R. From R, this is the median, this divides this line into two equal R. So coordinates of X, we can say that will be two, that is coordinates of P, let's say S will be P plus Q by 2. Why? Because S is the midpoint. If, even if you go by formula m by n, where m and, and n are 1 by 1, we will get the same value. So s will be p plus q by 2, since s is the midpoint. So we will say s of x will be 2 minus 2 by 2, that is 0. And s of y is equal to 1 plus 3 by 2 is equal to 2. So we have s of x that is 2 minus 2, we add this 2 by 2 in S of y. So we have this value, this is equal to 0 comma. Now it is very simple for us, we know two points and we have to find the equation. Let's find the slope of line SR, that is nothing but L is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So here let's assume this is y2 and this is y1. So this becomes 5 minus 2 by 4 minus 0, that is 3 by 4. Now equation of the line will be y minus 2 by x minus 0 is equal to 3 by 4. This will be the equation of line. Or we can say 4y minus 8 is equal to 3x. Or we can say 3x minus 4y plus 8 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the line SR. So equation of the line SR is 3x minus 4y plus 8 is equal to 0. What we have done? We have plotted the triangle and then we have found the value of coordinates of x. S is nothing but p plus q by 2. So we have found s to be 0 and 2. We now know the point s and r and we have thus found the equation. This problem says that we have to find the equation of the line which passes through minus 3 and 5 and is perpendicular to the line that passes through 2, 5 and minus 3, 6. Draw a line first. So let's suppose this is a line and let's suppose that this is 2, 5 and minus 3, 6. See whatever points I am uh, putting here, it, it will not come if you use the actual x, y graph. Just to explain you guys, I am using these points. What I am told is, there is a line that is perpendicular to this. Let's draw a perpendicular line. This is the line perpendicular to this point and there is a point here that is minus 3,5. And we have to find the equation of this line. Correct? So, this is L1 and let's suppose this is L2. And we have to find L1, not L2. First, we let, let's find the slope of... Now, what is the approach? The approach is, we have been given one point. So, if we, if we manage to find the slope of this line, L1, or if we find one more point, then we can solve the equation. Either slope or one more point in this equation is required. Now we know that since L1 is perpendicular to L2, we know the slope of L2, so we can very easily find the slope of L1. And then when we will have the slope of L1 and then we will have one more point in L1, we can easily get the equation. Let's try this. First, let's find the slope of M2, L2, that is M2. That is nothing but again y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So in this case, it will become 5 minus 6 by 2 minus minus 3. That is 
minus 1 by 5. This is the slope of m2. Now, m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. We know this is the slope of L, m1 is the slope of line l1. Since these two are par perpendicular, the product of these slopes is minus 1. So, m1 is equal to minus 1 by m2 is equal to minus 1 by minus 1 by 5. So, this becomes 5. So, slope of m1 is equal to 5. Now, we have slope of m1 is equal to 5 and we have two points or one point in line that is minus 3 and 5. So, we can say the equation of this line is y minus 5 by x plus 3 since minus 3 and 5 is given is equal to 5. This is the equation because y minus y dash y naught by x minus x naught is equal to m. This equation we know. So, this is the equation of the line. So this becomes y minus 5 is equal to 5x plus 15 or we can say y minus or we can say 5x or we can write this in x first 5x minus y plus 20 is equal to so this is the equation of line l1 that's what we are supposed to find what is the approach we followed we were told that there is a point in l and we do and we were supposed to find the equation of line l1 but since we were not aware of any other thing we we wanted to know the slope also of l1 to get the equation we knew the slope of l2 and we knew that l1 and l2 are perpendicular so we found the slope of l1 now once we had the slope of l1 we got the equation of line thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.